Hey, my name's Nathaniel Barrett, and I'm going to show you everything you need to know to create a beautiful website with Tilda. Let's get started with the dashboard. I have created a website as an example. You can see it here. And here is the information about your plan below. You'll find a menu on the top of the page. There are some items. Dashboard. Here we are. Plans and billings. Here you can pay and change your plan profile. You can change your login, email, password, your language and your country. Invite friends. This is our referral program. You can share a link with your friends and get some months for free. This is help and tutorials and has all the key information about Tilda. You'll find answers here to almost any question. If you didn't, don't hesitate to ask our support team. The orange circle on the right hand bottom corner. Inspire. Here you'll find projects made by our users to get inspiration. Let's go further and see what the website interface looks like. Well, this is our website, and what can we see? There is a list of pages. This mark means home page. The website has settings. Here you can adjust different parameters of your site, set fonts, and assign a, a domain. We'll come back here for details later. There is also page settings. Unlike settings, page settings work only for the page. Here you can set a title, description, page address, and upload a picture to beautifully share your website on Facebook. Set keywords for search engines and do some other actions, such as duplicate page, transfer a page to another account or website, or delete it forever. Let's have a look how a single page interface is organized. We have an example. This is an empty page. By clicking here, you can return to the dashboard of all websites. By clicking here, you can return to the dashboard of this website. And by clicking here, you can move between your pages quickly. There is undo. This is preview mode to check your page before publishing. When you click on publish, your page becomes available for everyone who has a link. You can copy a link and send it to your friends or colleagues. Don't be scared to publish a page. If you don't share this link, then nobody will find it. And you can always unpublish a page as well. The key feature of Tilda is the page consists of blocks. You can see the borders of the blocks while you hover your cursor. So how can you add a new block on a page? In the bottom, you can find a panel with frequently used blocks. For instance, we can add text. Or you can press more blocks and the block library will be opened. The amount of blocks is approximately 400 and the library is renewed constantly. To handle navigation among the blocks, we divide them into categories. For instance, cover category. You can choose the design you like, click on it, and it will appear on the page. To edit the content, you click on the text and go to editor mode. Click on another place, and your actions will be saved automatically. And by the way, all actions are saved automatically. We don't have a special save button because we don't need it. Also, Tilda supports a drag and drop option. For instance, we have a picture in the folder and we can just drag it and drop. It will be uploaded. The same is true if we add an image to this block. Drag, drop, done. This is a cool feature of Tilda. It shows a picture before it's finally been uploaded. To add a block in the middle of the page, you need to click on the plus. Every block has options. You can click on content button to edit all information that this block contains. 
Also, there is a settings button where you can adjust different parameters. For example, here we can align text to the left. To save changes, you can press save and this panel stays open or save and close and it will be closed. Also, you can switch between different designs of the block within one category. If you want to save your content, but change the appearance, just click on the block's name and you will see a list of blocks and be able to preview. But please pay attention to how much content the fish record has, because for different volumes of content, our designers have created different types of blocks. Okay, you can duplicate a block, delete it or hide it. It won't be visible after publishing, but will still stay on the page. And also you can cut, copy and paste a block on this page or another page, and even on another website within your account. I press copy, and if I want to place the block after this one, I press paste and it's there. To change the block order, you need to press and hold this button with arrows and pull the block up or down. To upload a picture, you can also open Content Menu, click Upload and drag and drop the picture here, or choose it from your computer. To control the space between the blocks, you need to hover your cursor over the block border, press and hold the left button and pull it up or down. This is an important thing because space this is an important thing because space is one of the most significant aspects of design. Don't be afraid to have a lot of white space. It works well in most cases. Let's check in detail what site settings are. By the way, to create a new page, you need to click Create a new page. Here you will find a blank page or ready to use templates. Don't see the templates as a final result. They are rather a sample of good design and an example of using blocks. Any template can be combined with other templates or blocks easily. Just find a piece you like and copy it for your page, like Lego. Well, let's return to site settings. Click on this button and what do we see? Here, you can name your site. It won't be shown anywhere. It needs to recognize your project inside Tilda. You can add a subdomain here. By default, it has this system name, but you can choose any name you like, like mysite.tilda.ws. Next tab. Here you can change fonts. We did some additional work and created a font pair for you. We've picked up the coolest fonts and you can choose them for your project. If you need more, click on the custom settings. Here you can choose your font for your headline and text. Also, you can set a font from Typekit Library. This is a big font library from Adobe, or use Google Fonts. If you have your own font, you can upload a file or add a CSS file. Here, the next tab, home page. Here you can set the page that will open first when people go to your website. The next tab, header and footer. Why do you need this? For instance, you have some blocks and you want them to be visible on all pages. For example, a menu. You create a page, add the block you need, and set this page as a header here. After publishing, this block will be visible on all pages of your website. The most important tab, Domain. 
Here you can assign your own domain. It's quite easy and we have clear instructions in the Help Centre. Analytics. Here you can assign your Google Analytic counter. No code, just put the counter ID here. Also, we have our own statistics system and some simple figures you can find here. The next tab is Export. All the work you've done on Tilda can be exported to your server. You can download it as a zip archive, all HTML code, pictures, JS, and CSS files and copy them to your server. For advanced users, we have this option, API. The next tab, Forms. We have a lot of services that are integrated in Tilda for data capturing. You can choose one or several, email, Google Forms, MailChimp, and so on. It's super handy. The next tab, Payment System. You can create an online store on Tilda to sell goods or services. All these payment systems have the option to pay by credit card, Visa or MasterCard. Actions. You can transfer a website. For instance, you've created a website for your client. You can transfer it. For instance, you've created a website for a client. You can transfer it to them from your account. You can delete your website, but be careful because you can't undo this action. You can limit access to your website by setting a login and password, or you can set an IP that will be needed to see your website. Also, you can prevent search engines from indexing your site. Facebook badges, you can customize a picture that appears when you share a link on Facebook, and tab more. Here you can add a favicon, Customize your platform label, set a 404 page, add HTML code to your header zone, and add your own CSS style. Let's return to the page settings. Here you can set the page title and page description. This is important for search engines and social networks. You can also set the page address. The next tab is a badge. This is a page picture. You can see it in the page list. Also, it is used in some blocks. For instance, index blocks, when you create a portfolio or blog. This picture is also used when you share your page on Facebook. Also, Facebook shows the title and description of your page that you set here. But you can customize these settings for Facebook specially. And here, in Appearance, in Search Results, you will find everything about SEO. Tilda is being indexed by search engines perfectly, and there are settings to make it even better. You can set the title, description, and keywords from there. Export to export a page. Actions, transfer pages to another user. Make a copy of the page, move a page to one of your projects, or delete it. Be careful here because you can't undo this action. You can change the page order using the drop and down feature. Here you can see your current page address. As you assign your domain, it will change. There is also a button that publishes all pages at once. That's all. I hope you create the I hope you create the website you have always dreamed about. If you have any questions, please ask our support team and we'll give you all the help you need. Happy publishing. Cheers.